become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. This will be your office here. Really? Wow, it is great. We try to get everyone in the upper management team a nice office. I suppose so. It's great. I'm glad you like it. Yes, is there a coffee machine around here? Yes, we have a coffee machine and some other beverages in the break room. Where is the break room? It's just down the hall, the fourth door on your right. Got it. You can always call me if you need anything and I will get it for you. Thank you. John, I'd like to see you in my office for a minute. Yes, sir. I'll be there in just a moment. John, I have been watching you. I've been paying attention to you over the last quarter and I'm impressed. You've done a tremendous job in tackling some difficult accounts. I just want to let you to know, after this month's performance reviews, I'm recommending you for promotion. Gosh, sir. Thank you, sir. I had no idea there were any positions opening up in our department. Well, it's not going to be in our department. I've recommended you for an interdepartmental transfer. There's supervisory spot opening up in financial. I'm turning your name in for it. Management? Wow. I had no idea I could move so quickly from entry level to managerial staff. You've earned it. Hi, Francis. How was your business trip? It was a nightmare. What's up? Actually, the business trip itself was very successful. We arrived on time. We had nice conversations and we settled some important issues for the next year. Sounds quite fruitful. Why do you call it still a nightmare then? Well, the airline lost my luggage on the return flight and then I lost my carry-on bag when I was tackling with the officers in charge. I left the airport three hours later than I expected and then I was caught in a traffic jam. When I finally got home, I was totally exhausted. But I found the elevator was out of service due to a blackout. This is really a sad story. Did they trace back your luggage? I am still waiting for their call. Take it easy. All sufferings have their reward. How much tea are you going to order? We want to order 3,000 cases and hope to deliver the goods in two equal lots. When do you want to deliver the goods? We'd like you to execute the first delivery by June 30th and the second delivery by August 15th. I'm sorry, but June 30th is quite soon. I can't guarantee 1,500 cases. I'd prefer the first shipment to be 1,000 cases and the next 2,000 cases. I can agree to that. Let me affirm this again. The first shipment of 1,000 cases, to be delivered in 27 days, by June 30th, and the second shipment of 2,000 cases by August 15th. Right? Right. Well, if there's nothing else, I think we've settled everything. Let's hope it's the beginning of a long and prosperous relationship. Can you help me? This fitting has come loose and I need something to tighten it up. Let's have a look. Oh yes, you need a 10 mm ring spanner. Here you are. Just leave it on the workbench when you finish. Thanks for your help. No problem. Did you working in a similar position before? Yes, 
I have been with ABC Insurance Company for four years, and before that, I worked with the Pacific Surveyor Company as claim officer. Could you tell me the usual procedures to handle such a case? Yes, on the shipper's side, when the cargoes arrives, all relevant documents will be forwarded to the consignee. Among other things, this party has to check carefully the content of the packing list and wait list. When cargoes are found to be damaged of short landed, this party has to call for a joint survey by representatives of the shipping company and the insurance agent. Based on the survey report, they will lodge a clam for compensation. If you act as our representative what would you do to safeguard our interest? I think, first of all, I would ask the consignee to produce survey report on loading. If they can't produce that I would suggest them to refer the case to their shipper. Meanwhile, bad weather could be a good excuse to refuse the responsibility. Are you able to operate the telex? Yes, I used to dispatch telex to shippers and the consignee to inform them of changes of our schedule and other information. Now can you tell me if you have a good command of both written and spoken English? When I was college, I passed band 6 of college English test. All the foreign businessmen I've dealt with say my English is quite good. If you are selected for the position, you must prepare to travel overseas frequently. No problem, I love it. Thank you for granting me the interview. How can I be sure your products are of superior quality, as you promised? One of the reasons for our good quality products is because of our quality inspection system, which is the best of its kind. But a quality inspection system does not mean that each unit will always be up to the standard. We have trained analyzers to do quality analysis at the end of each part when we make the product. This means that no mistakes are made. Your salesman also told me that each worker is trained to do quality analysis. Can you tell me a little about that? Certainly. We provide quality analysis training as part of the training for all new workers, plus a week of further training every year. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.